a choice When somebody needs you You can't turn away You're their only lifeline Just a hero A bullet for hire Working alone Always a voice A cry in the darkness An echo of pain that's been long forgotten But it haunts me My destiny To be alone There's a time when you see Life for what it's gotta be You should know they'll destroy Call to me to keep searching, walk Zach. Zach. Can you hear me, Zach? There you are, Zach. <laughs> Sleeping again? Well, rise and shine. It's time for us to head back out into the chaos. Isn't that right, Zach? Zack, it looks like she wants us to join her for breakfast. Perhaps this town's finally starting to warm up to us. Look at that, Zack. She's welcoming us with open arms. She's even willing to share that tasty morsel with us. What an honor. Hurry up and chow down, mister. Unless you like your breakfast stale. What an amazing place. I've been on top of the moon since the moment I got here. 
and the name of this wonderful town, Lacare. Sounds like French to me, but what does it mean? I'm the chef, David. If you want to know about the town, you'd better ask the concierge. Only amateur chefs flap their gums about stuff that ain't food related. Did you hear that, Zach? He's a true professional. You say something, mister? Uh, no, not to you. I was just talking to Zach. Zach? Please don't ask me about Zach. It's a private matter. If you say so, still. Never thought the FBI would ever come out to a little old town like ours. I do work for the FBI, but I didn't come here for an investigation. I just happened to stop by on my way to New Orleans. <sighs> Never thought there'd be a murder out here either. And it was a 16-year-old kid. Now I tell you, this country seen better days. What you reckon, mister? Zach, he's definitely a professional, but it seems like he's also a bit lonesome. That's good. Ambivalence exists everywhere. Folks say the killer used an axe. Hell of an old-fashioned choice, if you ask me. Actually, Chef David, if you don't mind, I'd like to ask you a few questions about the incident. Well, shoot. I ain't the one you ought to be asking, Mr. FBI. I only heard what I heard. But seeing as you're fixing to grill me, I can tell you what I know. Please do. I appreciate it. You said the victim was a 16-year-old. Did you know her? Well, sure. I reckon the whole town did. Meaning? She's Lise Clarkson, the little grandbaby of the Clarkson family. The Clarkson family? That's right. You ain't seen they sign on your way in here? The one above that huge coal storage complex. Should have had a dragonfly on it. Anyway, that's the Clarkson family seal. They own most of the land around here, from the sugar plantations right down to the food processing plant. Yeah, I reckon they got a stake in just about everything. They even own the water tower on the edge of town, you know. They're the ones who built up this town, and they still support it. What do you know about the Clarkson's house? Now, I ain't got nothing bad to say, but I'm gonna talk straight to you. You best steer clear of that place. That family ain't just some gang. They're a whole different kind of beast. They folks with real power. Remnants of the good old boys who shaped America in the early days. Especially the head of the family. P.J. Clarkson. He's the kind of monster who goes around eating other monsters. And I'm sure he's on edge now with his granddaughter getting murdered and all. So don't go barging in with that shiny FBI badge of yours and think you'll be safe for nothing. Things are different down here. So if you plan on sticking around, you best remember that. I see. I'll keep that in mind. Is the local law enforcement investigating the case? <laughs> Shoot, mister, what you think? Now, I told you this ain't no city. We in the bonafide boondocks here. They got the know-how to break up fights and keep folks from killing each other when they piss you off. They sit down and talk it out with you heart to heart. And when that don't work, they just beat your ass. That's the deep south for you. This murder ain't like that, though. A little kid got killed. A weird way, like something on a TV show. The Sheriff's Department ain't never seen nothing like this. Live and let die, 
Angel Heart, and the Pelican Brief. Right? Nine out of ten people will name those titles when you ask them to think of a film set in New Orleans. They're all excellent movies, but to me they lack realism. Due to my line of work, I have a tendency to think deeply about what feels real and what doesn't. What's your point? Cat people. That's my point. Cat people. 1982, directed by Paul Schrader. The crowning achievement of Nastasia Kinski, the ultimate muse of the 80s. The most vital element of that movie is the reality it depicts. Leopards who turn into humans have intercourse with humans and turn back into leopards. Then they can only turn back into humans again if they mutilate their lovers. I was awestruck by the sheer reality of it all. Understand? I'm talking about hyper-realism. After watching it, I felt like I just had to experience the world of cat people for myself. That's why I decided to visit New Orleans. Uh, okay. Another vital element of cat people is the presence of Malcolm McDowell. Malcolm McDowell from Blue Thunder. Oh, talk about a masterpiece. Listen carefully, David. Only an amateur would call A Clockwork Orange his best movie. His best movies are Cat People and Blue Thunder. Period. You need to remember this, because it's the truth. Mm, whatever you say, mister. So, uh, what's your point again? Never mind, don't worry about it. I already covered all the important parts. When you say it was like something from a TV show, what exactly do you mean? Hey, mister. Why do you look so excited, huh? Like a kid asking grandma to read him a fairy tale. I just can't seem to keep myself away from young women who died in bizarre ways. Duh. <sighs> Well, I ain't seen it with my own eyes, but folks say they found the body hanging under a bridge on the bayou. And under that bridge, there was some kind of altar. An altar? Like something they use in black magic. Something horrible. Voodoo? Nah. Wasn't nothing like that. Just a weird altar. That's all? Oh, and the body was all cut up in pieces, scattered around the altar-like. So she was sacrificed? That's what the fella who discovered her said, yeah. Bingo, Zack. This case has got our names all over it. By the way, Mr. FBI, I ain't seen a car in the parking lot. How'd you get all the way out here, huh? Don't tell me you walked. Well, that's a very good question. Chef David, you've got a sharp eye. It's true that I didn't park my car in your parking lot. Do you know why? Can't say I do. Because it was stolen. Huh? But you with the FBI, right? Even FBI cars can be stolen. It could happen after you park your car on the side of the road and go off to do some legwork. When you're eating lunch, when you're watching a movie, when you're asleep at night, when you're buying cigarettes at the local supermarket. Your car can be stolen anywhere. That's precise. In my case, my car was stolen while I was on my way down here. But no need to worry. I already reported it to the local authorities. And I've also already acquired another mode of transportation. Another mode? Want to hear the details? Not really. But I'll listen if you want me to. Then please do. 
After I finished my work in Houston, I flew to New Orleans. Then, I rented a car at the airport. Whenever I visit the West Coast, I always rent a convertible, especially in California. But now I'm in hot and sticky Louisiana. So, I decided on a brand new hybrid car with a fully equipped air conditioning system. A hybrid car? Oh yes, they're marvelous. Vehicles that utterly defy everything you think you know about cars. Now, in the year 2005, it feels like we finally entered the 21st century. Stomp down on the gas all you want. The engine won't make a sound. It's silent? At first, I felt like the landscape was moving past me on its own. Give it a few more years, and I'm sure we'll start seeing cars that run purely on electricity. Who knows? In a decade or so, electric sports cars may end up lining the parking lots of Silicon Valley. I can see it now. It's the world of The Last Starfighter. 1984, directed by Nick Castle. It's famous for being the first film to utilize realistic CG, but I couldn't care less about that. See, I was mesmerized by the beautifully refined mech designs. It even made me wish that I could be one of them myself. Especially the Gunstar spacecraft. No other sci-fi movie has ever had. So, uh, yeah, where'd your hybrid car get stolen? Sorry, I got off topic. I noticed it was missing after I finished my lunch and walked out of the diner. Incidentally, this diner was located at the entrance to a small town just south off the I-10. I went out to get back in it, but my hybrid car was nowhere to be found. I remembered exactly where I parked it right between a blue pickup truck and a hedgerow. But when I came back from lunch, it had completely vanished. In short, someone stole it. And in its place, they left me this. What? A skateboard. A skateboard? Yes. While I was sliding my lunch into my stomach, someone was busy replacing my brand new hybrid car with a wooden board attached to four wheels. Remarkable, don't you think? So then how did you get here? By riding the skateboard, obviously. Why do you look so surprised? No, I couldn't ride the board very well at first. But by the time I hit the three mile mark, I'd more or less gotten the hang of it. By the 10 mile mark, I'd even learned to do a few tricks. It was a journey of self-discovery. Not even I knew I had this latent talent sleeping inside me. This summer's gonna be another hot one. It's supposed to get over 95 today. Watch out you don't go getting heat stroke. The least Clarkson case needs us. Don't you think so, Zach? The cat people are what guided us to New Orleans. We should be thanking Malcolm McDowell. Once we get home, let's watch Blue Thunder again. I'm already looking forward to it. Aren't you, Zach? Zach. The searing light. Mmm, <laughs> these scents. It's the deep south. Mmm. That was a fabulous breakfast. You're the world's greatest chef. Uh, wait, mister. You didn't take a single bite. Well, the tea was to die for. But I'd prefer coffee next time. What would a morning be without coffee?
Saint Rouge, they're chasing it all over America. But I feel like we're finally on the verge of finding something now. Don't you? I think it's about time we ordered a new briefcase. Yes, I know this one carries a lot of memories, but it's seen too much. This hole's from the shootout in Tucson, and this stains from Miami. Ah, uh, Miami. Now that was a fascinating case. Billy, our perp, cut his own torso right in two. Even with the help of the drugs, a feat like that still requires incredible mental fortitude. I was so impressed that I forgot I'd left my briefcase on the floor. Same floor his blood gushed out onto. I know, Zach, I know. Now isn't the time for a trip down memory lane. An emergent drug that's been on the rise in four southern states. Personally, I think it originated right here in Louisiana. And these Clarkson's murder must be connected to it somehow. The 16-year-old girl who was murdered. Her body was found beneath a bridge over the bayou, along with a strange altar. The powerful man who essentially controls the town of Lucare. And he seems to be more fearsome than your average gangster. I doubt he'll be willing to cooperate with any law enforcement, Zack. You know, I keep thinking about that movie we stopped to see on our way here, Zach. The Island, 2005, directed by Michael Bay. For a movie being shown at a cinema complex, it was surprisingly artistic. An experimental setting mixed with hard-hitting drama. It was art house sci-fi. That director's going to change the history of art house films. Are you following me here? This is another special film that's setting a new standard, just like Star Wars and Blade Runner did. This is a turning point, Zach. You may be witnessing the birth of a vital new word that will soon become a part of film history. Yes, this single movie may be responsible for creating a whole new genre several years down the line. A genre known as island movies. I sure like the sound of that. Don't you, Zach?